Coming up on three minutes to go. Looking downfield, and down he goes again! Gregory Rousseau. An empty set again with five receivers. Akevius gets it out of there quick, and Wilson is dropped down at the six. That is a loss of a yard again. That's the fourth negative play of this first half, making the play that time on the receiver. I love the versatility of Gregory Russo on the outside. He's big enough. He's got that range. Now Kobe Lewis comes in and flanks his quarterback. Moore steps up. Pressure comes, knocking the football out. It's a fumble. And it looked like the Canes jumped on top of it. And that was Gregory Rousseau, who, as I mentioned earlier, he's playing D-end or he's playing inside. He lined up over the center on that. Watch right here. He makes a great move and gets right around this guard. Right here, he gets that rip and perfect positioning by that outside hand. You don't always have to tackle the quarterback, but if you can get the ball out. And Justin Fuente may have found his quarterback. They're going to run it on second and ten. Nowhere to go that time for Keyshawn King, who remains in the ball game. Go out there and have fun. Second down and seven. Hooker with plenty of time. And now sacked by Rousseau. He leads the team now with his fourth sack of the season. And working inside, he's going to come all the way across. I mean, so he's working on the outside right there. Just gets a bull rush, gets up the field. He's 6'6". Six, six, he's 260 pounds. Defensive coordinator over on the sideline. First Virginia first down of the game. Perkins, that just looked like a design run, but he just had nowhere to go. In fact, he could not even get back to the line of scrimmage. What is a weakness for Virginia's football team? You see them all here rushing with good lane discipline. You see right there Michael Pickney, or rather Shaq Quarterman, come up. Perkins with pressure coming, and Perkins gets away, but now the ball's on the ground. Miami forces the fumble. Perkins somehow got it back. It was Russo who did swat the ball away. Perkins got away once, but not from Rousseau, who with his helmet, I think, basically knocked that ball away. Perkins did well. Chris Griffin, the young freshman whose older brother scored a touchdown earlier in the game on the fumble return, and they flip it to Amari and Brown. Second time we have seen Brown targeted here today. A guy like Shaq Quarterman for the Hurricanes. Pickett steps up and is sacked on the play by Rousseau. Third down and long now. Sack of the day. He's going to be coming off your screen here, off the edge. Just beats the tackle. What I love second time today, when he gets to the level of quarterback, big drop. See if they go back to him. Pick it. Back down at the 21-yard line. Gregory Rousseau used that long reach of his, his angular life frame. His long arms. He's just going to work in the middle of the field, and as Pickett breaks the pocket, he shuts it down, locates the quarterback, go-go gadget arm wow. to grab the shoelaces, and a huge sack. And a ton of two-high safety, man-to-man -man coverage underneath. Two things. You want a screen or an outbreaking route to take advantage of leverage. Horny Brook in trouble, and he goes down. Russo in the backfield again. He has been unblockable the last couple of weeks. This comes a little bit more to me about some play calling and, and stopping or staying out of third and 15 plus. Here comes the rush again, and down he goes again. Tripped up by guess who? Greg Rousseau. Four sacks for Gregory Rousseau. You're doing one thing. Here comes a pass, and Rousseau, another nice job by Manny Diaz of moving him. Third and 21. Flag down. Rousseau on the tackle on Hassan Hall. You have to get the sack on Quentin Harris. Yep. Second in 11. And that's going nowhere. Deion Jackson. Rousseau is there. Neo Garvin is there. Wow. Well, it, it's you've got two players pulling on the side where John Garvin was coming from.